chance here for Liverpool. Ruddock getting involved after the free kick had been given. Well, they're just not getting a, an ounce of time, are they? A second of time. Any time any of the red shirt tries to put their foot on it, it takes some time on the ball. Oh, and then as Poynton went to clear, there was a block tackle by Keane, which Holden certainly disapproved of. And a yellow card is shown straight away to Roy Keane by Martin Bodnam for the challenge on Poynton. Well, welcome back from suspension, wasn't it? You can see it was never a tackle that uh, he was going to get the ball in as Neil Poynton's followed through. He's caught him. You know, Poynton's ball, it's a jump tackle high up on the shin. Definitely worth the booking. As well, Martin. Mark Hughes, we know he's got great body strength and he was using it. But Warren Barton was not going to be moved. We're talking about body strength. Fashionu using his. A black belt in the martial arts. The red shirts, incidentally, we should point out that Wimbledon aren't allowed to wear their normal dark blue kit in cup ties. It's too near the black of referees in this competition. To Walsh. Back to Bigri. Brilliant play this. And Roy Keane was required there with a rescue act. Great example of what we're talking about. In total control, but when they need someone to put in that extra bit of effort, they just watch Keane. You can see him there, he picks up the run of Beagre and look at his determination to get back in there and stop Beagre having a shot at goal. Wonderful stuff. That's what midfield play is all about. We all talk about Keane's forward runs, but look at the way he assesses the situation there.